Please, please prepare the cab for arrival. Nice. I like this. Never thought I would say I would like Minnesota, but it's nice. Oh, they have a train. <laughs> like we have one too. And then they have like let's see. Why she go? We got McDonald's down there. And then they have bathrooms, McDonald's. Uh oh, buffalo wings up front. There's a lot of white people in Minnesota. Where's all the natives at? So also points out that everywhere I've went, I have gotten a really nasty reception. I don't know if it's because it's just me or being black, but they're rude. When I got ready to go into first class, the guy was like, um, miss, you gotta wait. I'm like, why would I have to wait? 
and he's like okay can i see a ticket so when i showed him my ticket then it's like, oh my apologies i just looked at him because in my mind i would like to know why you needed to, to doubt in the first place but that's what they do and on the plane i was watching godzilla versus king kong or godzilla and king kong i was rolling okay i laughed out loud <laughs> yeah, i didn't mean to but it was funny as hell especially when it was like two or three of them together and they drop kicked each other it was hilarious funny as hell <sighs> oh yeah little mooses <laughs> All right, so, um, let me see. All right. I am not paying attention to where my gate is at, at all. Let me go over. So, all right. I didn't know that. All right, so I'll turn it around, let y'all see for a little while. Okay, hey, black women. So I just landed in Minnesota. Originally, I had a non-stop flight from New York to St. Louis, but because of the weather in New York and I guess over here. Um, oh, shoot. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. So, the weather, I guess, messed up my flight to where I had to um, I had to come here and then wait like three hours before I can go to um, St. Louis. So, we'll see. We'll see. Really nice. Yeah. Hey, hi ladies, how are you? Yeah, so we'll see. I gotta stay here like three hours. How much is this? I can't see. Doesn't take nothing? No flesh? Okay. Exterior. holiday and tired as hell before I have to get up <sighs> in two hours traveling sucks sometimes it's supposed to be a vacation but sometimes it's really not I'd rather be home in my own bed You guys know what happened to me on the plane. My flight got canceled. Because we had a lot of rain in New York City. Wednesday night before I left Thursday morning. And when that happens, they usually just put you on the next flight. So, originally, 
I was trying to fly nonstop first class and then they changed my flight, they canceled it. So that flight is gone, it was the only nonstop. So, the next flight, the initial flight from New York to Minnesota, and I got a really cute Minnesota sweater. And Minnesota is nice. I never like really hung out in Minnesota before besides uh, one like, where was I going that time? Oh, Utah. And um, I stayed like a night in a little hotel there, but I didn't really like go all over the place. But this time I got a little bit more time in cause I had to be there for three hours, so. I had no idea that when um, you watch like all of those gymnastic videos on TV that they're taped in Minnesota. I didn't know that. So I got a huge education today, um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, being in Minnesota. And I have to say, and this is so real, right? That the people, wherever they were going from or going to, the, the white people in Minnesota, really fucking cool. They, so far, as far as the um, Midwest goes, they have been like the most human white people I've ever met in my life or been around. No acting crazy with black people, none of that. It was just really decent. And then this part of um, Missouri that I'm in right now, because I'm in Springfield, right? Currently, as I speak to you. So, when I came, flew, finally flew in, with all that fiasco, how did you wait? three hours in Minnesota, and then getting back on the plane, being bored to death for another hour and 40 minutes before I could get off the plane, right? I got here, well, not here. I first got to St. Louis. And let me tell y'all something, New York City. <laughs> and other people who don't like stupidity when you get to the airport. Know that if ever you fly into, what was the name of that airport? St. Louis Leonard something airport. Listen. It's STL, I think is the, the, the code. But anyway. Make sure you book a reservation for... um. Your, your rental car because when I came here right I thought this this part of Missouri was gonna be just like um I thought St. Louis I'm sorry was gonna be just like Springfield Missouri because last time I came here to visit with my son in the military I came I flew to from New York to Springfield, Missouri, which is another airport. That airport is closer to the base I was going to, right? When I got there, that airport was like my airport at home. The rental car offices are in the actual airport. So all you gotta do is go downstairs where you go to get the baggage claim. Is there? Sorry, y'all, uh, this early. And then go like a little, a little, go a little ways and all the rental cars are there before you leave the airport. That's the same way it is in New York City too. And many other states and even many, many other countries I've been in. So when I got to St. Louis, I was shocked like, okay, they have the, you know, the, 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 the shuttles that take you to the office, but they were like, 
oh, if you don't have a reservation, you can't get on the shuttle. I'm like, what? I can't, I said, so I don't have a reservation, so I can't go to the office to get a rental car. They're like, no. That was the first couple of drivers. All right, so I always carry my iPad and everything, a couple of devices. Ugh. So I sat down, I began to do a reservation, right? And then I saw a black woman driving the Enterprise shuttle. And she was really nice. I went over to her, I said, do you think I'd be able to just ride with you back to the office so I could get a, a rental car because I wasn't aware of the fact that I had to have a reservation if I landed at this airport. So she was like, yeah. So I go there the first thing the um, representative tells me from customer service, oh, we're all booked. You know that's not true. So I'm like, okay, so if you're booked for walk-ins, <sighs> Can I sit down and do a reservation online and then just come back over to the counter, which is the most ridiculous shit ever. But that's what I did. And rent the car. So he was like, yeah. So I sat down. I rented the car. I went back to the desk. I put, like, whenever I go to any place, I always put, like, extra insurance in case anything happens. I'm not paying out my own pocket. And my insurance company won't be trying to increase my goddamn monthly premium because anything happened or something got stolen or something got damaged. So I did all of that. And oh, also sometimes when you go, if, if they give you the option, make sure you put like um, the, the repair and um, emergency services like AAA and shit like that. So that that way, if you're somewhere, you get a flat tire or your rental car breaks down, you want to be able to call whatever number it is they give you for 24-hour emergency roadside assistance. So I got that too. And it's not in the, it's not a lot. It's like eight to ten dollars a day. It's not it's not a lot of money at all, but it saves you a headache in the long run in case something were to happen to you or let's say like i'm in this hotel right now if i go outside my car is parked right outside this window if i go outside and the car is gone or the car is messed up or with that extra insurance no worries all you got to do is do a police report and let, wait for the rental car people come to inspect the vehicle and that's it then you go home, no worries, no nothing, not a penny out your pocket. So when I found the people um, when I was traveling to St. Louis, nice too on the plane because for the first time yesterday, when you know how you get ready to get off the plane and everybody's getting up, try to get their bags and stuff. The white dudes there all ages they were like really hospitable when it came to women those guys were like um getting the women's bags down from the overhead compartment like, even though i can do it myself but it was just really nice and very um what is the word courteous and also um congeal for um the guys to you know show some um civility and courtesy towards women. It was really sweet. I, I, I chivalry. I liked it because you know, if I could sit there and a dude reach up, get the bag, and get it for me, I'm like, thank you so much. Because I had a, a carry on as well under the under the seat. So that was really nice. And I swear, that has only happened in St. Louis, Missouri, inside the plane. Period. And everybody on there was really nice. Like. They, excuse me you need help with that no you know i'm here not all that rude shit that normally happens on the plane i find like little things like that makes traveling really nice and if and when i see that type of human interaction hospital 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 <laughs> hospitality blah, 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 towards each other 
I like to comment on it because I think you should give credit where credit is due. And that was really nice of those people. They didn't have to do it, but they did. And so, yeah, I was watching Forensic Files. I have not seen Forensic Files in like 10 years. <laughs> but I, you know, just basic cable. I <laughs> saw so, me watching Forensic Files. A couple of them I saw already from years and years ago. But I was like, God damn, I ain't seen Forensic Files in a long goddamn time. Yeah, I'm going to try to take one more quick nap before I got to get up. And then I'm going to wash up and go and go do this visit, hang out and everything. And then, oh. Be on my way back to New York City, which whenever I leave it, I always miss it. But when I'm going, wherever I'm going, I'm so excited. But then once I get there and I'm there for a little while, I want to go home. I really do. I talk shit about my city, but I really like my city. Yeah. All right. I'm catching another nap. Talk to y'all when I do another segment for this video.